are just crossing over the Pendai Bridge. I remember it from times in the 90s or maybe early 2000s when it was much smaller. And it was a very scenic river. It still is a scenic river. The bridge is bigger, so we cannot see it from here. A lot of fields have been uh, fallen into disuse, thrown into disuse. Yeah, but they are here. They are cultivated. See, here they are cultivated. It's very tough. That is a chapter on itself, talking about the problems of agrarian Goa. Easy to sit in a in a vehicle and pass by, but uh, the issues are something else. So, Pene is the northernmost sub-district or taluka of Goa, Concelio in Portuguese terms. Next is Bates. This is all coastal Goa. Then you would get Tiswadi. Then you would get Salset. Then you would get a little bit of Kepe. Spelled as Q U E P E M, but not pronounced as Q U P E M. K P E M. And then the last is Kanpon. Kanpon spelled as. You have missed out more more about Taluka. Yes, sir. And the new Taluka of Kanpon. No, I'm talking only of coastal Goa. So Mormogao is yes. After after Tiswadi, you get Mormogao. You are absolutely right. And then Salset, and then Kepe, and then Kanpon. From one end of Goa to the other end, north to south, you could cross into us, right? Yeah, no. Hundred kilometers, hundred and five, they say. It reminds me of this uh, Protect Water, Protect Life march, which we went with Matani Saldana for. Are we in Kolwale? We are in Badesh now. Kolwale? Yes. Probably, no. Kolwale Chapel. Saint Rita's. I don't know what chapel this is. You know, Dinesh. What I was saying was, we went for this uh, Protect Water, Protect Life march with. Uh, Patani Saldana in the year 87, 1987, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, that was my first introduction to rural Goa. And while I did disagree with Matani over politics, ideology, etc., the man really had a vision which I couldn't uh, but help admiring when it came to you know creating a certain idea of what Goa should be, what it could be. Uh, How development should have benefit the people and all that. Any comments? You knew him personally, right? Huh? Okay, he doesn't want to talk. Not at this point. Dinesh has been a right hand man to Matani for a very long time. Uh, since he's not saying it, I'll say it. He also a trustee of the Goa Research Institute of Development. Still. Okay. No comments. But. Uh, So you know, on those seven days, we went through coastal Goa and uh, through a lot of fishing communities. It wasn't uh, an activity of the Fishermen's Forum, of the National Fishermen's Forum, but it was a kind of a side activity of theirs because in '87 they were taking up this cause of protect water, protect life, and they were stressing the importance of water then. Those years were full of ideological ferment and. Uh, Activism and people with no transport modes of transport yet participated in last large numbers. Whereas now, with all the modes of transport, people are not willing, are scared, or not willing to yeah. show their yeah. participation. I don't know. I don't know if I agree with you on this point, Dinesh. Because see, in those days, the government would keep on throwing back at our face the fact that uh, you know a handful of people were concerned about issues. Today, the issues have spread much more. But what you are saying is also true. People will not come out and take a stand. People will not go to court. People will not approach RTI, approach the government and the RTI. Students, students for for a few rupee rice would go would bust would go be on the streets. Yeah. Now fees are in lakhs of rupees. Yeah. Do you find a mama protest? Yeah. But that perhaps has something to do with the times because you see we were part of the student movement. Okay, I was on the periphery of it. I was not in the heart of it. But we always supported uh, the student leaders, and we looked at protest as an important uh, protest and dissent as an important part of uh, the democratic discourse. So we grew up thinking that being an activist is a is not only a, a good thing but a necessary thing. Whereas today's today's younger generation has not grown up in those times. No, 
they have grown up and and partly it's our fault as the parent generation they have grown up in terms of uh, with with consumerist ideals with getting a good job how much salary what will it pay us which were not questions we really bothered about in that sense so we were also products of our times that's what i'm saying there is scope for a full book on the student movement in goa some of which have been, has been written but uh, many more perspectives how it changed the debate the discourse uh, some of the student leaders have probably got incorporated and become part of the establishment people could say that for us also but uh, it did it did make a huge impact that's what i want to say while we are rambling along we are entering uh, parthis soon we'll be touching mapsa then we'll be going on the highway to panjim and stopping at porvori so thanks for being with us this morning on this uh, short tour of pedne 22nd november 2022 thanks a lot dinesh for making it possible